Black Rock City! Oh! Oh, God. Ooh. Man, guys. Oh, you wouldn't believe how much trouble I'm having trying to get this intro going. It's like I didn't realize it'd be so hard talking about such a complex such a complex topic. I did it. <laughs> a man burns in 25 days. I'm gonna talk about Burning Man. F-word lovers, what the fuck is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Jess, in case you don't know me, I'm a fine artist, flight attendant, and festival enthusiast, and I love F-words. Today, I am diving into a very complex topic. I can't even say the word topic. I'm like stuttering over everything I'm saying because my mind is like all over the place. I'm like, how the fuck am I gonna talk about Burning Man? How am I gonna do it? Well, simple. I'm gonna break it down into as many videos as I possibly can before the man burns. Throughout this video, I'm gonna be going over general questions that people ask about Burning Man. I'm going to tell you my answer, so how I feel about this question. It's just my personal opinion. You may not agree with it at all. You might completely agree with it, or you might kind of be in the middle like, mm, yeah, I, I could see your point a little bit, or whatever it may be, but I'm gonna go over what my answer is to these specific questions, then I'm gonna go over what Burning Man's answer would be to this question, and then I would absolutely just love to hear what you think about this question, so please make sure you let me know in the comments below what you think about these general questions. So, that being said, if you're interested in learning about Burning Man, you are in the right place. Let's start with a general understanding of what Burning Man is. And the most common question asked, what is Burning Man? question is what is Burning Man and I think a lot of people tend to struggle to explain what Burning Man is to them or in general like a general description of what it is so I'm gonna tell you what I think it is Burning Man to me is a temporary city in the desert built by the people that go there. And it's a community that thrives off of unconventional living, challenges, creativity. There's a plethora of descriptive words I could use, but I would say that Black Rock City is one of the hardest working creative cities in the world, one of my favorite cities in the world, and pretty much indescribable, which is why so many people have trouble talking about Burning Man with other people, because unless you've been there, it's really hard to describe. It provides a lot of challenges, and it really makes you think differently. I guess if I were to, or when I do describe it to people that have never been there, a visual representation that I typically use to describe Black Rock City is it's almost like you're in a Star Wars film crossed with Mad Max but like dropped on fucking Mars like if you could even imagine that which right exactly it's like like mind blown right like to be dropped on Mars right like a climate that basically wants to fucking kill you yeah yeah that's kind of like the Black Rock Desert, where Burning Man is. The reason why I say Star Wars is because there's so many different worlds in Star Wars. There's so many different outfits in Star Wars. They're like just the intricate fashion and the types of people you see in Star Wars, right? The different planets and worlds and universes. That kind of reminds me of like how different some of the camps are at Burning Man and how different 
the people of the city are, that in the way they present themselves and dress, and it's just so unique. Mad Max, all you have to do is Google it. You see like these like crazy like metal sculptures and cars and dust, dust masks and like these badass fucking people, right? Like burners are fucking badass motherfuckers. When I think about all the cities I've traveled to and been to, like just thinking about Black Rock City is like, oh my God. Like, I just feel so many emotions right now. I think that's why I'm struggling a little bit with this video because it's like, holy shit, we are so fucking close to being back home. So what is Burning Man to Burning Man? And I'm gonna read this because there's no way that I could memorize this. Burning Man to Burning Man is a network of people inspired by the values reflected in the 10 principles and united in the pursuit of a more creative and connected existence in the world. Burning Man is a city in the desert, a culture of possibility, and a network of dreamers and doers. Man, that seems so nice compared to how I was trying to describe it, right? <laughs> I mean, I'm like all over the place because it's very hard to summarize what is going on out there. So let's get into the second general question about Burning Man. Is Burning Man a festival? Is Burning Man a festival? What do you think? Is Burning Man a festival? Well, I can tell you straight up how I feel in general, no. No, 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 it is not a festival. And I will go into further detail, probably in a virgin guide. So if you're a virgin burner, it's your first burn coming up, I will definitely go into more detail as to why I don't think it's a festival. It's okay if you think it's a festival because I thought it was a festival and I considered myself a festival queen and I went to all these festivals and I was gonna be, it was gonna be amazing going to Burning Man and I'll get into it a whole other video, but trust me, it is not a festival and I'm gonna tell you right now why it's not a festival. Think of it this way, calling Burning Man a festival is like calling New York City, London, Barcelona, any major city a festival. It just doesn't really make sense, right? Like you're not gonna call New York City a festival. You're not gonna say, oh, Barcelona's a festival. It just does not make sense. There are so many things going on within that city and the same goes for Burning Man. And there's like this sub question that is always, you know, getting thrown in there. Like, well, Burning Man's a festival, right? Like everyone's just like naked and on drugs there, right? And the answer to that is no too. So think of it this way, you're traveling to New York City. Can people be naked and doing drugs in New York City? Absolutely. <laughs> and I guarantee that there are a lot of people doing that. But think about all the other things people are doing in New York City. They're enjoying architecture, they are, you know, going to a museum to look at art. They are getting physical, running a marathon. They are riding bikes. They're getting active in whatever that may be. Bouncing on a trampoline. People may be interested in fashion and the fashion culture in New York City, right? Basically what I'm trying to say is the party part of Black Rock City is such a microscopic, like microscopic, part of Burning Man that people just don't even realize like that it's just so small because there's so much else going on in that city there's AA meetings there's NA meetings there's you know cook-offs and five-star dinners and anything else you would find in a major city is at Burning Man it's just in a different climate with underlying principles you can do all of those things I just mentioned and more in Black Rock City, but like the imagination level is unparalleled to what you could ever like even think of. So here's another difference with Burning Man and why it's not a festival. When you go to a festival 
And let's just use like Insomniac events for example, right? Insomniac runs festivals like EDC, Nocturnal Wonderland, Electric Forest, just to name a few. And so when you buy tickets for one of those festivals, you are essentially paying Insomniac events to provide entertainment, lighting, vendors, food vendors, clothing vendors, you know, different things you could buy out there, alcohol, you know, and then you go to that event and you pay for everything there. And when you go to Burning Man, everything is run by burners. Everything is created by burners. The whole city is built by burners. That's probably the simplest way I could put it. At Burning Man, when you buy a ticket, you are essentially donating to an organization. You are donating to art grants and the large scale art that is part of the city build, such as the man, the temple. There's different structures and art out there that you are donating to. So you do not pay for food, alcohol, or any type of like gifts out there. Everything is um, gifted, which is one of the 10 principles. And I'm gonna go over the 10 principles in the next video so that you have a better understanding of like the underlying principles basically describes what this community is. So this is something that I find really super interesting though. In 2016 at X Live, I did an interview with many festival producers and I asked them all the same question. I asked them what event or festival that you have not worked on or contributed to that you were not a creative director for, producer, or you didn't have any type of involvement in? What's your inspiration and a lot of them said Burning Man and I was like shocked that a lot of them were saying Burning Man and not obviously I could see why they're saying Burning Man it's so influential there's so many I think elements that other festivals have taken up because of Burning Man and burner mentality so I could see what they meant, but just I, to me, I just do not consider Burning Man a festival. I mean, I used to until I went out there and then I was like, oh, okay, yeah, no, this is, this is not a festival. <laughs> so like, I could totally see why like the components of Burning Man, like people go out there to party, yes, there's DJs out there, yes, there's large scale art, yes, there's a lot of LEDs and glowing lights and you know, fun things that are like festival like and festive like. So I could see why people think it's a festival, but you know, like those videos that are like, this is the craziest festival in the desert. And it's like, oh, it like makes you want to cringe, especially if you've been there and you know what Burning Man really is about. Okay, so what's Burning Man's answer to this question? Is Burning Man a festival? And I'm gonna read exactly verbatim what Burning Man has to say. Burning Man is not a festival. It's a city wherein almost everything that happens is created entirely by its citizens who are active participants in the experience. Boom. It's amazing how it's taken me so long to say these general summaries that Burning Man <laughs> answers, <laughs> like trying to think about it and then like they're just like, boom, this is it. Like, simple. It's not a fucking festival. <laughs> so the final question I am going over today that is a general question about Burning Man is who goes to Burning Man? Is anyone allowed to go to Burning Man? And the answer is yes. Everyone can go to Burning Man. All ages, celebrities, all different types of social statuses. That's what's so beautiful is that there is no social levels out there. Whereas in the real world, it's like, well, you're rich and famous and you know, you have a little bit of money and you're fucking shit poor. You know, <laughs> there's none of that out there. It's just, you're just there and you're all the same and you're all equal and you're all contributing to this amazing city, if that makes any sense. What is Burning Man's answer to this question? 
anyone may be a part of Burning Man. We welcome and respect the stranger. No prerequisites that exist for participation in our community. That is radical inclusion, which is the first principle that I'm going to get in the next video. So if you're interested in learning more about the Burning Man community, Black Rock City, temporary city in the desert, more about burners and their lifestyle, please subscribe below. Like this video if you found it useful. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you subscribe to my channel so that you will be notified of all future videos and F words I'm dropping. Thanks for living by the F word with me guys. I'll see you in the next video.